Hi, I'm Caroline from Caroline Pit Fitness and today we are going to do a slower workout but still working really hard. Let's march it out. So we're just going to do a warm up for me, chest up. Good. So we're going to take this to heel digs. We just dig, we dig. Good. The purpose of today is not so much about speed. We're working the muscles. We're still going to work hard but we are going to do it in a different, slightly different format. So primarily on the floor. Two more. Last one, we're gonna do the knee lift. So just bring up, bring your arms above your head and across, good. So we will do a couple of moves to begin with standing up. After that, you will need some room around the floor. So a mat distance, so just obviously um, length of your body. <laughs> Keep with it. Two more, last one. Let's tap that, good. So. Sometimes we need a little bit of a change and this sort of workout is great. It really complements uh, cardio workouts because we're using the muscles, we're toning them and we're still working hard, but no jumping around. Two more, last one, good. Single step, big arms. Fantastic, stay with this, chest up. Just trying to get all the arms, the body, everything warm. Two more. Last one, take it to squats. We go down, chest is up, two, good. Stay with this, keep that chest up, keep going. Perfect, keep with it. Last one, side step, up and over with the arms, up and over with the arms. Stay with this, four, three, two, and one. Knee lift, knee lift. This time we're gonna bring up and down, up, and down. Good, we're going above the head and under the leg. Stay with this, keep going. Really warms those shoulders up. Two more, one more. Legs nice and wide, knees are soft. Just tap, tap, tap. Tap across, tap across, tap across. Keeping those knees so that they're not locking, going across. And across, getting that twist, just warming that core area up. A couple more, two more, last one. March it here, big arms. We're gonna go wide, out and in. So we go out, out and in. Out, out, in. Four, three, two. Last one, let's do a dig. Dig with the heels, dig with the heels. Stay with this, good. Doing really well, just, I'm, you can see I'm kind of swaying to the side just to get that side area nice and warm. Two more, last one. Finally lift, lift. Just do a little kick with the legs here. So we're gonna do squat and a little kick down the back of those legs. Two more, last one. Excellent, okay, so we're gonna start the session. We are going to do a low squat side to side. So, deep breath in, knees bent, let's go. So we go tap, tap, you wanna stay low. We're going side to side, just getting those legs nice and warm, keep the chest up. You can see I'm tapping. Some people might call it, you could call it a sumo squat, but you tend to walk forward with a sumo squat, but it could be a side sumo squat. Keep with this. Keep the legs, they're really going to start working, they're warming up. Keep going. Doing well. Nearly there. After this, we will take the legs wide and we will punch side to side. Okay, last couple. Excellent. And let's rest that out. So, tap the toes, knees are soft. We're going to go across here. A little bit more energy. Cross. You can use it as a little bit of a punch side to side. Fantastic, good. A little bit of work going on, not too much. Tapping that toe, excellent. Keep with that, keep going. Stay with this, nearly there. After this, we are going to, um, we're gonna step and we are going to do opposite elbow to opposite knee. I will show you, keep with this. I decided it's too difficult to explain. Keep across and rest. So, step knee across. So, up, down, cross. 
cross, cross. I'm gonna use the same leg, so I'm up, down. So I tap back, I lift, I go across, tap back. You can see, across, tap and across, tap and across. So all I'm doing is lifting that front leg, up and across, leg comes up, and I'm tapping the opposite elbow. You can see why I didn't want to explain. <laughs> it's a lot easier to show. Keep going, cross, you don't have to hit the elbow. You can if you want to, just tap with the hand, tap with the hand, and let's change legs. The same thing, go tap behind, cross, tap behind, cross. Good, and across. Stay with this. After this, we will do a walk down. Okay, a walk down. You literally walk the length of the mat. So, well, the length of your body. This, with the walk down, you use everything. Arms, core, you name it, you use it. Keep going. Nearly there. Again, you can just tap across, work in that side area, getting a twist, going across. Ooh, good. Right, we are going to go into a walk down. So let's go up, bend the knees. We walk down and we go back up. Good, that's all we're doing. You walk down, it's really good this one. It really is a whole body workout. So with this, the next section is going to be on the floor. So this is the last one standing up. After that, we will be going on to the floor. Keep with it. Good. Nearly there. Excellent. We're going to take this into a superman next. Okay, so you're on the floor, on all fours, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Come in, come out. Really key that you keep the hips lowered so you don't lift that hip up. So this hip needs to stay in line. The neck is in a straight line. Come up and across, up and across. So I'm working the core, my glute, I'm squeezing my bottom as I'm using the leg. Keep with it, doing really well, keep nice and stable, keep going, nice and controlled, breathing and let's change leg. I'm just going to be very slightly so I don't kick anything. So we come in, again going back to room in the house. Let's make sure that we've got enough room around us, that we're not going to kick anything. Keep going until you've got a nice bit of space. Doing really well. Keep with this. Keep the core. Reach up and over. Good. Opposite. That neck's in line. Don't wobble like me. Keep with that. Doing really well. Oh, I'm really wobbling on this side. So this is obviously, this is my weak side to be fair. Always has been. Excellent, right, from this, we are going to go into a back extension. So you're here, bring the shoulder blades, neck is in line, squeeze and down, squeeze. So you can see, I'm squeezing the shoulder blades, I'm gonna move over the, so you can see me. Good, stay with this. Keep with it. So after this, we will be going into a plank. You can go onto your knees or a full plank. Keep going. Nearly there. Doing really well. Shoulder blades are squeezed. You're keeping that neck in line. Excellent. And squeeze the shoulder blade to get that back extension. Bring the upper body. Perfect. From this, we are going to go into a plank. I'm going to show you a plank this way. So basically we're here, I'm going to go onto my elbows, actually I'm going to tuck, I'm lying, I'm going to go this way. Um, we're going to come up, tuck the bottom down, if you want to drop your knees you can. Those of you who are comfortable with a high plank, let's go for the next level where we drop our knees, slow and controlled. Keeping that bottom low, drop the knees. And then we can see, and then we move a little bit, because I'm really away, you might not be able to see me. So there we go, keep that bottom low. 
my core's engaged, my arms are not doing too much work, or no work, but obviously they're holding you with the core. Couple more, and rest that out. So from this, we are gonna go into what I call the, basically it's like a tray to the ceiling. So you're on all fours, legs hip distance apart, reach up, come down. Flex that foot as though you've got a tray on the bottom. Again, keeping that hip nice and stable. So you come up, you go down here. I really want to get the squeeze, squeeze in that glute. Go up, squeeze the glute. Good. Keep going, squeeze in that glute. Excellent. Keep the back nice and level. Come up. And as you're as I keep saying it, you're going up and down. You're just really getting that glute to activate. Okay, let's stay up. Let's go up and do a little pulse. 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 Really getting that glute working. Keep with it. Doing really well. Let's change. Let's hip distance apart. Reach up. Imagine you've got that tray on the bottom of your foot. You come down, your hips are nice and stable. You squeeze the glute. Glutes are so important. They're so important. We really need to make sure that they're nicely working, shall we say. Keep going. Not there yet. Keep with it. Keeping an eye on my time, nearly there. We're just going to do a little pulse in a minute. A couple of seconds. Let's hold it, let's pulse, pulse, foot up, good, pulse, pulse, keep that hip level, pulsing it, pulsing it, pulsing it. Stay with this, excellent, and rest that out. So, the next move we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of moves on the floor again. One is going to be a tricep push. It's on the side, so let me show you. So you tuck one arm under, other arm on top legs bent, you put your arm into position and you come up. Now you are using this part of the arm. If you find that that's too much, put your arm out under you and push up. Can you see? So I'm getting additional support from this arm, not too much support, just a little bit of extra support. So I'm gonna tuck my arm under, you go into the position you're comfortable with. Legs are bent, let's go. Put the arm into an area where you can feel the back of the arm working. Excellent. But it's giving you enough so you can start to feel that it really is, for a word, burning. That's it, keep with it. Up and exhale, we're gonna go up and down on this one. Push up nice and controlled. You might have to move your arm very slightly and you may find one side works better or worse than the other, often the way. Good, we're not very symmetrical really. Keep going, oh, I'm struggling with this one, I'm finding it on the back of that arm, fantastic. Let's flip sides. So I'm going to tuck the arm under again. Okay, same principle, let's tuck the arm under and let's go, right, sorry. I don't want to get my timings wrong, can you imagine? If I got my timings wrong, you would not be happy when you do extra work. Keep with this, push up, and let's push down. That's it, good. Feeling it on the back of the arm. Keep with that. Doing really well. Feeling that tricep. Excellent, keep going. Nearly there, so you're feeling it all down the back of that arm. Remember, you can put that other arm out if you feel you need to. It's entirely up to you. Keep going. Nearly there, two seconds. Excellent. So this one, we're going to stand on the floor. We're going to come up into, basically, um, a side plank. So you've got the hip off the floor. Your arm is supporting you. You're here on the side. You are going to crunch and out. Now I need to move up a bit because obviously I've got something in the way. So hip, hip hitch, as I call it. Nice and stable across here. Arm up, crunch and over. Let's go. So we crunch down, we go across, we crunch. So you want to feel this in the side area. So you get that in the oblique, down the side of the body. If you find your shoulder does not like this, simple solution. You come down, you do the same thing, 
but you're not putting the pressure on the shoulder, okay? Remember, we have alternatives for those of you that need to work in a slightly different way. Reach down and over and down. Good, keep with it. Doing well, and we're changing sides. Same principle, up on the shoulder, hitch the hip and lift, up and across. Really trying to keep this nice and level, crunching down with that elbow. As I said, you can take this to the floor. You do not have to come up on that elbow if you're finding it too uncomfortable. Sometimes our shoulders maybe are just slightly weaker than we would like. Start off with it with the, with the, on the floor and progress. Remember, we need to progress in fitness. Keep with this. Doing really well, nice and controlled, excellent. Now, we're gonna go into a couple of stretching positions. So we're gonna bring one leg up, let me go sideways here. One leg forward, one leg back, tilt the pelvis, and we're just gonna go into this position here. Just feel that stretch on the front of the leg. Excellent. And let's change legs. Okay, we're not quite finished yet. Just do a little stretch here. Just want to get a stretch through those legs. Good. So what we're going to do next is do a little bit of core. We're going to go onto our backs. And we're going to go into what I call tabletop, okay? So tabletop is where we drop one leg at a time. So backs are onto the floor. Shoulders down, chest up. Shoulders down, chest up. Okay, so backs into the floor, feet bent, arms by side, palms up, and we're going to drop one leg at a time. Let's just drop nice and controlled and slowly. So you drop down, here, drop. Now, we really want to emphasise that that back is into the floor. Again, I want slow and controlled. Now, some of you might think, oh, I could do more than this. Do you know what? Try it slow and controlled. That's my advice. Rather than always rushing around doing exercise, sometimes exercises work better for us if we actually do them slowly, which often we don't. So let's try this nice and controlled, nice and slowly. Excellent. Do more. Push the back into the floor. Perfect. And then just hug the knees in. Okay, so we're going to go into a seated position here. Tuck the core in, as I say, round the core, round the back, so you really hollow the core. And we are going to do a nice, simple V6. So you're just going to get to a position where you're working. You feel it in that core. Relax the shoulders. And we get a little tap here. If you want to tap, you can. Again, I want slow and controlled. The reason why I like to tap to the side is I find it distraction. Because if I just do a straightforward core workout here, I find it just hurts too much, basically, keep with it, good, tap to the side, tap to the side, so we've done a little bit of everything today, so we've done a little bit of uh, work in the legs, a bit of tricep, a bit of core, and we're going to finish off in a minute with some stretching, let's do one more core workout before we do our stretching, so we're going to bring the legs up, I love this move, again, very simple, Palms of the hands go onto the knees and you push, create resistance from the knees to the palms, create resistance, knees to palms, back into the floor again, push against it and you need to relax that and you repeat. So keep pushing. So your knees are resisting your palms and your palms are resisting your knees. Push against each other, keep going, push. That's it, doing really well. Getting there, fantastic. Nearly there, good, keep going, keep with it, and relax, and let's go again, Ooh, it's tough on this, knees against the palms, and relax that down, good, hug the knees in, just give that a really good hug, rock the legs round, so you're getting a nice stretch on that back. So, let's go back into that lunge position, so we did that earlier, so one leg up, one leg behind, so you're in this position here, okay, 
So I want you to tilt the pelvis, tuck forward, and I want you to feel a stretch in this part of the leg here. So up nice and straight. We're going to lean across. And as we do that, you just want to pulse here. You want to get a pulse here. Just really feel that stretch down the side area. Holding that for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We're just going to drop down here. I want you to bring the arm in to the side the leg. You bend the elbow and you're just going to get a really big stretch here under this leg. Okay? Bend that elbow. And let's bring that over and across. Let's drop this leg. So we're going to drop that back. And you feel a stretch down the back of the leg. Remove that little wave. Give that a nice little wave. Great stretch for the legs, this. Bring the leg behind, so bring that to the other leg, bring your arms forward, keep your arms where they are, let the bottom drop and get a stretch through the back of the shoulders and the arms are going to stretch, this is a really nice gentle stretch as well. Head tucks down and up we come. So changing legs, I'm going to turn around so you can see me. So this leg will go up and this is the leg we want to feel the stretch. So we're just going to pulse it here, foot, foot in front up and across, and I want to get a stretch all down that hip, what we call the hip flexor, so all down this area in the quad. Give that a nice stretch, leaning across, increasing that stretch as you lean across. Good. From this, we come down, we bring both arms by the side of the leg, and we bend. So we're just bending the elbows, and you get a stretch in that leg. Good. And then come back over. Let's drop that leg, flex the foot, we're getting stretched down the back of the leg. I hope you can see me, I'll hold on to this though. So really, I'm just going to move my arms out of the way so you can see that I'm just giving that leg a little wave and I should be getting a stretch down the back of that leg, down the hamstring. Bring that leg behind, hands forward, drop down, stretch through the shoulders, really big stretch through the shoulder area, keeping the arms far enough away that you're getting the stretch here. From this, let's go into what we call child pose, and there's obvious reasons why we call it this. We tuck under and we relax. <laughs> we'll try to relax. Tuck under, let's relax. Getting this pose good. Holding it for a couple of seconds. Relax the shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We're just going to come back out of that nice and slowly. Still on our knees, if you're comfortable, if not, go to a seated position for me, please. Shoulders back, bring the shoulders behind. You know I like to do this stretch where we just pull the shoulder blades, we squeeze the shoulder blades together and we open the shoulder, the front of the chest. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Bring that arm up. It's different, I know, it's different to my normal workout. I think every so often we do need to make sure that we do something more slow, uh, more slow slower and controlled and something that really is a change for our body i think it does us really good to just throw it in the air sometimes so i will be posting videos every so often um, i do have a freestyle fitness yoga qualification uh, which we haven't used today but is something that i probably would like to use in the future guys you've worked really well well done have a good week